Namaste. Oh, oh there's one here already. <laughs> wow. <Luigi>. Magico. <laughs> Alhambra. Alhambra, that's like a building, right? Very famous. Granada, right? Okay. That's like one of the only places in Spain I haven't been yet. And I'm sad, so I'm just gonna have to drink about it. I wish I could go to the Alhambra. But instead, I'll drink it. That's so far away at the ground. <laughs> It's alright, it's alright. I can get up. I can get up. This is, that's the most work I had to do all night, so. Sad and hungover Another wasted night On the sunset strip You know that these lights Don't mean nothing Except all of the water I should have sipped well, I'm waiting now For some inspiration Something that'll make me move Everything's coming at me All at once There's so much that I could never do well, Even George Clooney gets lonely well, Maybe he just goes to sleep alone Sitting in a jail or in a taxi well, How I hate to hear you cry and moan well, The ghost of entertainers is all around me this is where you go to try and find All my silly dreams and hopeless lies The world of man is sick and needs to cry Well, even George Clooney gets lonely Read about it on CNN Married or divorced, what's the difference? A whole lot of nothing, of course. You're never gonna get ahead in this town. Just hope to cruise and bide your time. A once in a million gets lucky. The rest of us will suffer through the trial. Well, I don't wanna hurt you or curse you. I don't want you to stop having fun But all the money in the world Can undo All the stuff that I still haven't done 
Leaving George Clooney gets lonely And Angelina Jolie well, They can't hide from all their beauty Or turn away when they don't think it's fair I'm gonna do that song now, Carmen. If you want to record it, Lonely Swedish Girl. Right. Esta canción es muy especial. Um, yo dedicado esta canción a Carmen. Well, it might be snowing outside. Sunny in my heart It's a tragedy That old oh baby We must live So far apart All I want from the world Is a lonely Swedish girl Is that would make all this pain seemed to go away Lonely Swedish girl Though I can't afford a plane I'll whittle you a boat So I can float all the way to Spain That's not far enough Maybe it is well, I don't want to be your pen pal I just want to make you smile And if I started a whittling now That would take too long a while Lonely Swedish girl Can I turn your eyes from gray? If I rolled a bed of hay Would you spend night with me Lonely Swedish girl The way that your hair curls Will send me in a swirl All the way to the Baltic Sea That's too far now Well, I don't want to be your pen pal I just want to make you smile if I started a whittling now, that would take too long a while. My heart would surely die. Well, maybe I'd just cry forever if we never be together, my lonely Swedish girl. Lonely Swedish girl, lonely Swedish girl, lonely Swedish girl, lonely Swedish girl. All right, little known fact that song is more popular in Norway than in Sweden. I don't know why. <laughs> I think the Norwegians think it's funny and the Swedish are like, are they making fun of me or, 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 or what? No. It's just a, it's just a joke. <laughs> Is there anybody here who's ever seen me play before in Zaragoza? You did, okay. Wow. You, I, I thought you guys looked familiar. Oh, right, 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 right. Dang. That's amazing, man. Look at this. I got all, 
a whole front row of returning fans. This is exciting, man. Right? Thank you. It's it's so cool to like come back and see the same faces over again. So now I have to come to Zaragoza once a month, every <laughs> month, and play play here. So I've been living in Miami, Florida for the last year and a half now because during COVID I got stuck in uh, New York for two months and it was just like, it was just so crazy that I had to get out of there. And I just drove south all the way to the end of Miami. And um, so it's been fun, but I think I've had enough. Um, <laughs> Miami is crazy. It's like a soap opera or like a, a scary reality TV show. Well, I suffered long enough. Know it's time to change when everything makes sense, but everything is strange. Could it be that I had walked into some arbitrary game where everything you think is true is utterly insane, and everything you try to take just sullies up your name? Gone, long gone. Well, I come from a place and I know who I am. Chaos will thunderbolt right through this stubborn dam. When I heard you say I can't, I said we can. Watch as everything you need goes right into your hand. Long, gone, long, gone. Well, I come from a place and I know who I am. Chaos with thunderbolt right through this stubborn day. When I heard you say I can, I said we can. Watch as everything you need goes right into your hand. Long gone. To the night and fly like a trapeze. Go home and go to bed and get down on your knees. And don't forget before you wish the magic birdies, please. Or you might end up like a crazy bear in the tree. Long, gone. Long gone, long gone, 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 gone. Mm. Some say if you don't like it, that you better leave. But I, for one, would like to live somewhere in peace. But where on earth could I go if I want to love? 
No place in particular Just somewhere I can grow Well, I don't want to fight no more I don't want to fight no more, no more I don't want to fight no more this be true what makes me a hero when i'm just like you well i don't want to fight no more i don't want to fight no more no more i don't want to fight no more well i have never fought for anything in my life and that's the way i like it cause people aren't supposed to fight but now that i have to i will never quit because for some reason i'm sick of all of this well i don't want to fight no more I don't wanna fight no more, no more. I don't wanna fight no more. No more. No more. No more. No more. Thank you. So I have a new album out I released um, during the pandemic last year, and it's called Go With The Flow. I have like two copies of it left on vinyl. So um, unfortunately it's gotten so expensive to ship things, especially to Europe. It's like, I can't even do it anymore. And since I don't have a label here, I have to like, bring whatever I can on the suitcase, and I've already sold almost all of them, so. Um, it's crazy, but um, anyway, this is one of the, this song is kind of like, um, one of the best songs, I guess, on the new album, because it got all sorts of playlists and stuff, and I won an award for this song, and it's called uh, South Dakota. It's a true story. I wrote it when I was in Nashville. And after I wrote it, I got invited to play a festival in South Dakota. And they even interviewed me on the radio in South Dakota. <laughs> and they were like, oh, who, who is the, who's the girl from South Dakota? And I was like, oh, she wasn't a songwriter. So don't, you don't know who she is. It's nobody, nobody famous. <laughs> from South Dakota, someone tore apart her heart. So she moved to Nashville trying to make a new start. I guess the stars aligned just as I had a ride. Since I am an optimist, I took it as a sign. South Dakota, I already know you. Though I've never been gone to jump right in and what I've seen, I really like it And your lips just might be the right fit 
I know it sounds silly that you might meet that special someone But you're all out all by yourself And you feel like you've got no one So grab my arm and swiftly kiss me down the street There is no way this could be random South Dakota I already know ya Though I've never been I'm gonna jump right in From what I've seen I really like it And your lips just might be the right fit Our friends were watching I wondered what they thought Love must look ridiculous to those who have forgot. And what am I to do when I dream about that night? I guess go find somebody else until we get it right. South Dakota, I already know you. Though I've never been. Jump right in. From what I've seen, I really like it. And your lips just might be the right fit. Well, crazy horses staring at the grasslands. Deadwood, Black Hills to the Badlands. Buffalo, wounded knee, black elk speaks. They stole the gold and traded a dust bowl. South Dakota, I already know ya. Though I've never been, I'm gonna jump right in. From what I've seen, I really like it. And your lips just might be the right fit. And your wish just might be the right fit. another song from my new album. It's called Don't Hate Your Hometown. Um, it's funny how no matter where I go in the world, people either love where they're from or they hate it, you know. And there you have people who are from that city and then people who move to that city. And it's always like, you know, a little rivalry, you know, like how long have you lived? in such and such a place, or where are you from, and da da da, da. <clears throat> But I was in Paris, and I was playing a concert, and the sound guy, was, after the show, was like, hey, do you want to go to a party? I'm like, oh, sure, I have tomorrow off, I'm in Paris, let's go to a party. Why not? And I went to the party, and everybody said, where are you from? And I was like, well, I'm from New York. And they're like, oh, I love New York. And they're like, and I'm like, yeah, it's okay, whatever. <laughs> You know, because when you're in Paris, you're like you're like all into it, like being in Paris, and they're like, they're like, what do you think of Paris? And I'm like, oh, I love Paris, the food, the you know, the you know, the art. I love to walk, and you know, it's a poetic city. There's there's just no two ways about it. And when you're in Paris, you feel it. And um, but Paris is angry because Jim Morrison is buried there, and because he's an American. He gets all the attention, 
and everybody's they're they're angry that an American has gets more attention. I mean, I think Oscar Wilde is buried in the same cemetery, but like everybody goes to Jim Morrison, so that makes them angry. And they were like trying to like get take him out and like exhume his body and like move him, which I think is like ridiculous. But anyway, this is for all the Parisians out there that hate Paris. It's called Don't Hate, hate Your Hometown. When I was a kid, my friends fooled around. We were easily bored, so fun had to be found. We got into some shit and talked about art. Stayed up late at night and played the guitar. People thought we were weird cause we dreamed very far Well sooner or later we had to depart we Looked to the city, oh didn't it look pretty The Big Apple was waiting, so that was the plan Don't hate your hometown Don't hate your hometown When your friends aren't around you might miss your hometown Well, we struggled so long and we wondered why We took the hardest road that you're gonna find Expectation, realization, self-destruction We pondered the pointlessness, we cried through the hopelessness And watched as it wasted the world's most precious gift Don't hate your hometown Don't hate your hometown When your friends aren't around You might miss your hometown I see my mistakes and I just have to laugh Cause it is so hard that we have to choose And you have to lose, and that is a fact Now you're probably wondering what is my point To uplift this solitude or get out of this joint Well I needed you And you need me too I know how I wish that you'd seen it through. Don't hate your hometown. Don't hate your hometown. Thank you. All right, just a friendly reminder, there's a little wooden box on all the tables, so please put some money in there, because otherwise I'm in deep trouble. No, just, <laughs> just kidding, I have a credit card. I'm, I'm American, whatever, you know. What are they gonna do? If I never go back to America, they can't catch me, right? Or do you have an extradition, is there an extradition treaty between Spain and America? Probably. All right, this is my little anthem about, you know, the economics of music. It's like many things in life. It's like, it's, uh... <laughs> Here, I'll just play this. <laughs> well, I have to prove myself every single day In a different town Across the USA Now once in a while 
I might get something free But karma's too slow And the banks are tanking on me Now the traders on Wall Street They had a divine plan What's good for their investors Ain't always good for man Just pay the workers For the labor of our hand Now I'm speaking up For all of our demands Free market music, you better not abuse it. For some poor musician suffering. Technology is great, but it ain't always good. So pay musicians what you should. Now I've heard it all before from people in the know. Just sell a bunch of t-shirts or tickets to a show. Now if you had to live upon that income stream, I know you'd buy that tune if you know what I mean. Cause I know what it's like to be homeless. I know what it's like to be poor. But if we want a world filled with music, and pay musicians what we're working for Pay musicians what we're working for Free market music, you better not abuse it Some poor musician suffering Well, gratitude is great, but it won't buy me food So throw some dough in my boot Now I believe in stuff like democracy And maybe someday music can be free But if we can't solve all this inequality Then just give the people what we need Cause if I can't buy a home I'll pay my student loan well, If you want to help something so that I can breathe pay me something so that I can breathe free market music you better not abuse some poor musician suffering technology is great but it ain't always good so hey the people what you should Thanks. Yeah. Alright, this next song is another song from my new album, Go With The Flow. It's called One Mistake After The Other. And it's funny how like, when you make a mistake, it seems like it's so right at the time. And then once it goes wrong, you're like, ah. Oh, shouldn't have done that but you know that's why it doesn't matter because like you know you, th you did what you thought was right at the time it's not your fault that we're living in a multi-dimensional simulation controlled by aliens <laughs> You can't fix all the broken things in life You can't sit around all night Crying that you've been hurt Well, I love to live and learn But I always make things work Cause nothing's fair in all the universe Cause it's just a one mistake after the other, make a wish and then try harder. Some people don't even bother, and that is why they're sad. No, I try not to judge, steal, or lie. But that don't mean things are gonna go right. No, I'm not one to give you all. 
that free advice But you gotta keep moving and leave it all behind Cause it's just the one mistake after the other Make a wish and then try harder Some people don't even bother And that is why they're sad Not falling down so many times I don't know which way is up And just like everybody else I think I had enough No, I'm not one to tell you things That you already know Some of us are just a little bit slow Cause it's just the one mistake After the other wish and then try harder some people don't even bother and that is why it's one mistake after the other make a wish and then try harder some people don't even bother and that is why they say that is why they're sad Gracias. All right, I'm going to keep doing songs from my new album. Um, this is another song that I wrote when I first moved to Nashville. And you know how it is when you move to a new city. It's, um, it can be hard because you don't know that many people. You're just getting there. And uh, Luckily, Nashville, I had had... You know, a bunch of friends who were musicians that I, I knew, so it wasn't quite that bad. But my friend Cass, she's like, oh, I'm like, Cass, I, I finally, I moved into my apartment, I'm here. And she's like, all right, come over. We're going to make soup and write songs. And I was like, oh, awesome. You know, because that's the great thing about Nashville. It's like the songwriting capital of the world. Like, everybody's a songwriter there. That's all anybody thinks about. And, um... So that can be good and bad because, you know, there's other things in life besides songs. You realize that when you live in Nashville, you're like, oh my God, okay. I'm <laughs> like, enough. But this song is dedicated to all the, um, the men out there who are very sensitive and kind and treat the ladies right. <laughs> okay, so it's called Weak. You can run You can hide The terror Is ripping up In your mind You can see it You are blind To the very thing Sitting Somewhere Inside well, It hurts too much It's unkind To stare at yourself for a long time You twist and turn And recline And one day Baby You will find Your weak 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 I go home all alone no one there to keep me warm I sit still till I reveal all those feelings I had to feel 
you showed up. Now it's real. How can I even tell you that I'm weak? Weak. We've been broken, we've been bruised, everybody has been abused. Don't pretend, don't be abused, everybody, everyone is weak. Loving you weak, oh weak. All right, thank you. Oh, here's a, it's a funny story. Um, something that happened to me when I went to Colorado. Um, I was camping, and in we, it was like a, maybe like an hour past sunset, and um, somebody just, it's America, and everybody's crazy, and they have guns, so somebody started like shooting a machine gun like right within you know, maybe 100 yards from my campsite. And um, it was a pretty psychedelic experience, said to say the least. And so I wrote this song about it. Because we have this problem in America where like, really crazy people believe in freedom for them to have guns, but for women not to have control over their own bodies. And it's the metaphor in the song was about like, you know, about being able to like smoke weed and certain, this was like, it's legal in Colorado now, but like, basically the problem is they believe in freedom for them, but not freedom for other people. And they, they really have their head is just so messed up. I don't even know how to talk to them because they don't know how to think. Like, it's crazy. It's like, I studied philosophy in college and you know, people consider that the most useless degree that you could possibly get. But I disagree because I at least know how to think. And a lot of people apparently don't. And for whatever reason, they cannot see beyond their own biases, which is like the first thing you should be able to learn is what a bias is and like subjectivity versus objectivity, scientific method, you know, facts, stuff like that. But apparently they don't, they don't teach that in the schools. And unfortunately, so now we have a big, big, big mess. And, um, but this is the song, it's called Colorado Camping Catastrophe. Well, I went out into the forest of Colorado Springs, smoked a little something so my colors could run free. Just those magic mountains, the flowers, and me, and a few friendly neighbors, so I did believe. We just had a tent and we didn't have a plan Gathered up some firewood and then it all began We were laughing and we're singing and the only thing I thought 
Was that a mountain lion might sneak up right upon us from? Then I quickly realized that I was unprepared. Some psychos started shooting all his ammunition there. It was way past sunset in a public place. Well, I wish I could have met that guy somewhere face to face. Well, I couldn't tell if he was drunk or joking or had lost his mind. But I wasn't gonna waste any of my time. I grabbed my girlfriend and my dog and we left the tent. Well, even right at that moment, I never did regret. Colorado camping catastrophe. What is the meaning of our freedom? What it all to be? Well, I drove all the way down the mountain. Thank God I had some friends. Well, the hotels were all taken up. It was a weekend. All I was wasting for. Said singing in this bar Colorado camping catastrophe what is the meaning of our freedom what it all to be well you cannot punish me with your silly thoughts I know all about the Constitution and what our freedoms cost but you don't care who gets killed you think it is unfair if any tiny teeny bit of your freedom has been impaired Colorado camping catastrophe what is the meaning of our freedom? What it ought to be? Thank you. All right, here's a new song I wrote. It's never been, hasn't been recorded. Actually, it's been recorded, but I got in the, um, I don't know, this is the strangest situation, like this has never happened to me before, but I got, I had a misunderstanding with the engineer, the guy who recorded it, and he, went, and he won't respond to my emails and text messages, he's mad at me, he said, he's like, you disrespected me, man, <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry. What can I, I don't know what I said to disrespect you. I, I want to like make it up to you. Please just tell me, I, I'm really sorry. I just want to like apologize. I do respect you and I want to, but he won't respond to me. And I was just, it's just been one of the most confusing um, situations in my life actually because, but I, I realized a lot of people are having a lot of mental health issues coming out of COVID, I realized. And so I'm just hoping that maybe in a few months he'll like come around and maybe call me back or something. I, I don't know. Because I definitely, I don't know if I did something wrong, but if I did, it wasn't that, like, serious. Because there's way more serious things going on in the world, and there's no reason for us to argue and fight, because um, whatever. But this, is, this song is dedicated to my favorite fruit, which is a peach. And I had one this morning, a Spanish peach. They're a little bit different than the ones we have, but very good, so I was happy. This one's called Carolina Peaches. I left New York for the summer. Farming was a life for me. The sweltering smell of pine trees had me on my knees. 
My girl and I had just broke up So I said, you know what? A harvesting busted my butt Boy, did I mess up Did I mess up Did I mess up Carolina peaches, why are you so sweet? Just like George's on TV. When it's time to eat, nothing can be justice rolling like a stream, down like a stream, down like a stream. When I got to that station. You weren't there to pick me up Well, it wasn't how I pictured this But I felt kind of dumb So I called you on the payphone Convinced you it'd be fun well, I don't remember what I said Good thing both of us were young, both of us were young, both of us were young. <laughs> Went past the Chattahoochee, up the river to the gorge. Well, I came for the picnic, stayed on a hunch that this was more than love. When I saw you in that swimsuit, I knew that it was love. Tom Petty was blazing in the background, and you were driving a truck, driving a truck, driving a truck. Carolina beaches, why are you so sweet? Just like George's on TV. When it's time to eat, nothing can be just as rolling like a stream, down like a stream, down like a stream. Well, the falls were so beautiful. And something you said too I know that we are fragile And easily bruised Our love is like a juicy peach In the Carolina heat And sometimes I wonder if she misses me, misses me, misses me. Well, I want to live a thousand lives, but where do I want to die? Somewhere where the peaches are falling from the sky. When I got back on that train, Lord, I knew I wanted to cry. Was that my biggest mistake? I guess I'll always wonder why, wonder why, wonder why. Carolina peaches, why are so sweet? Just like George's own team. But it's time to eat, nothing can be just as rolling like a stream, down like a stream. I'm sorry, man. I was just like, I was laughing because. 
I was just thinking about this guy who's like so mad at me. And I'm just like, for some reason, when people get mad at me, I just laugh. Like I always, I or like, I, I don't know why. And it's caused problems in all of my relationships because if you laugh at a girlfriend when she's mad at you, she doesn't like that. But it's like, it's just, I don't know. Like, I feel like at this point, you get to a point in life and you're like, there really is nothing that's that important to be mad about, you know? Like, it's just really not. It's so, uh, just a little food for thought. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's like, <clears throat> it's like so many things. I, I remember what, it was something like, oh, yeah. If you're mad at somebody, right? Like, what, what's the saying? Like, it, you're not hurting that person, you're hurting yourself, right? You follow me? And so, there's no point in being mad because you're only hurting yourself. This is, this is another thing, this is funny. So like, recently I was like, um, having some issues, that I had a job in Miami, and I was having some issues at work, it was so stressful, chaotic, nightmare. And one of my friends was like, oh, you should try therapy. And I was like, okay, I'll try therapy, whatever. So I, I tried one of these new apps where you like, like start texting a therapist. And I was like, after I was kind of like, I felt like everything I was saying was so ridiculous that like this guy, I just thought I was like the biggest like, like I couldn't even take it. I was like, okay. You know, you like type it down, and you're like, "Oh, oh, I don't have, I don't really have any problems, actually." Thanks, thanks for listening. <laughs> I'm good, but he actually stopped replying to me after a while, and so I had to cancel it. I'm like, get my money back. But um, I met, I was, I've been in catechesis in Catalonia all week, and I met somebody who is a who is a therapist. And I told her this story. I was like, yeah, I was like talking to a therapist and he, he just stopped responding. <laughs> and then she was like, I was like, I thought, well, maybe I should become a therapist instead <laughs> of going to therapy. And then she's like, oh, would you be my therapist? Because she's a therapist. And I was like, so now I'm a therapist therapist. <laughs> so that just goes to show you how mentally, <laughs> I know that's, that was probably a little bit too much, but thank you. Thank you for indulging.